Hello VC, CD community, cheers. Oh, lovely cup of tea. Right, um, this video I'm basically just showcasing um, CDs that I picked up in the last, well, this month and last month. Um, start off with a couple of soundtracks. I picked up this uh, Starship Troopers one. Um, it's not actually available on vinyl, I don't think. So uh, I had to sort of make do with a CD, which is fine with me. Um, can't seem to find this anyway, anywhere. So um, I look on eBay, and I think they only had uh, like one copy of it. So uh, I brought that, and I also brought this Spider-Man Two soundtrack as well. It's a, a cheaper one. Um, I found uh, this in my local charity shop, this Frank Sinatra. This is one I've been after for quite a while actually on uh, on vinyl. But, uh, I so happened to find it on CD in my local shop. It is packed full of songs. 50 songs on there. Um, and it's a really good uh, compilation by the looks of it. So uh, yes, and that's The Great American Songbook by uh, Frank Sinatra. Uh, I picked up this one, um, 60s Soul Hits. I think um, James Griffiths was uh, showcasing this. I think he was doing something, saying something about Motown female singers. And there's one particular artist on here. Um, I can't remember who it was. Martha Reeves, maybe? I can't remember now. But anyway, he uh, he showed this, uh, this one off. And... Uh, I always thought this was a good series to collect. Um, there are always original hits on there. So uh, anything 60s like that, I, I, I snap them up right away. So yeah, I'm happy to have that. Um, I brought this uh, Two Lights um, compilation on CD and also on cassette. And also I have it on vinyl as well. So I have all three. Um, really really good actually um have you seen her on here it's just an absolute brilliant song homely girl is nice um lonely man um letter to myself uh, coldest days of my life oh girl they're all great songs it's a great compilation this is a, a great uh late 70s album i believe 79 yep and that is uh the Knack, Get The Knack, very, very good album. We're really worth picking up on uh, on whatever format you can get it. I also have it on record as well. So um, happy to have it on CD. I love CDs just as much as I do vinyl. Um, a few, few singles, well, two actually. Um, this Imagine John Lennon. This was actually, uh, the song was actually uh, re-released in the UK in uh, 1999, I believe it was. Um, maybe in 2000 now. Um, it reached, I think, number two place, not number one. Um, it has uh, Happy Xmas War Is Over on there, Give Peace A Chance uh, as bonus tracks. So, uh, yeah, I used to have this, actually. I brought this when it came out and uh, required it. Later on, found it in my uh, local cherry shop. As well as this one, this uh, Prince 1999. Um, they must have re-released re this as well sometime in the 90s. Um, so yeah, picked that one up as well. Uh, 80s stuff, uh, Beach Boys compilation. I... Uh, I've never had this. I've never even seen this until recently. And uh, yeah, I think I purchased this on eBay. And that's uh, Beach Boys, uh, Made in the USA. Basically a greatest hits. Uh, this uh, Pet Shop Boys um, double CD pop art uh, compilation of basically all their greatest hits. So uh, yeah, pleased to have that one. Um, this was uh, given to me um, by a friend at work. Uh, I basically brought up his entire CD collection over the last, I don't know, six months or so. 
and he found a few CDs um, and he said look you can have them you know you bought the rest of mine you might as well have these and that's uh, Journey Greatest Hits he also gave me this uh, Lisa Stansfield one as well that's more 90s that one uh, going back to the 80s uh, I picked this one up this uh, Whit Whitney Houston um, self-titled her first album I'm not quite sure why I bought this. I um I do actually have a copy of it on CD as well as vinyl. So uh, yeah, a bit of a mistake on my part, but hey ho. <coughs> I bought a Rock City Nights compilation on uh, CD as well. Really good rock compilation uh, with 18 songs of 18 different artists, everything from Queen to Tom Petty. So, uh, yeah, really good. I bought this uh, Cliff Richard private collection. I do have this on vinyl, but I, I can't resist these uh, these 80s uh, CDs. I sight about them, and uh, if I see them, I, uh, I tend to buy them. Um, yes, I bought that one as well, Cliff Richard. Love the song, Some People. It's just my favourite track of his, Some People. Brilliant, brilliant 80s pop song. Um, I picked this one up, uh, Heart, uh, I think I have one or two of these songs on my computer, um, me and my brother shared a computer back into the, like the early 2000s and we had loads and loads of songs on there, um, so I think one or two of theirs were on there, so I bought the album. Uh, this one uh, is a bit of a rare one, um, Love and Rockets, Earth, Sun and Moon. Um, really like the song uh, No New Tale to Tell which is on here I um, I used to watch uh, Beavis and Butted back in the day in like the late 90s or whatever it was and uh, they used to be very much uh, MTV influenced a lot of MTV videos would, would be on the show and uh, I can remember that being on there because I used to record it on VHS um, so uh, yeah they had some really good uh, music on there and I used to learn quite a lot of um, it's like classic rock and, and, and sort of music in the US um, which is not really for, wasn't really familiar uh, for me at the time so yeah that's one of them I picked up up this uh, a classic album uh, Donny Warwick Heartbreaker um, I love the song Heartbreaker and uh, there's another one on here, on here. All, the, all the love in the world that's two very very good songs um, yeah my mum uh, used to have the single and uh, it's such a powerful love song Heartbreaker uh, really really is good uh, picked up this uh, late 80s Gloria Estefan album. I have this on vinyl. I thought I'd pick it up on CD as well for the hell of it. This one too, I have on vinyl. Flying Pickets, uh, Lost Boys. Um, love the song um, Only You on here. And uh, when you're When You're Young and In Love. Uh, those were two hits of theirs of the 80s. I think it was 87 they came out. I remember my dad having it on a um, on 7-inch single. One of them anyway. So uh, yes, I bought that. Bit of a rare one. And I also got this 90s Sybil, Good and Ready. Um, I love the song uh, When I'm Good and Ready and The Love I Lost. Two great hits of... Uh, 
93 I think that was when it came out so uh, yeah um, yeah two great songs two great pop songs of the of the 90s on that CD on that album and yeah that's basically it really I um, just thought I'll show you those like a new update of my CDs I tend to gather them up after a while and then make a video um, so yeah I hope you liked it um, until next time everyone see you soon bye for now